guys welcome back to another video people it has been absolutely ages since i made a youtube video and i don't know why really to be honest i think partly because i've been super busy at home partly because i've now got a dog so i'm super busy with that and really just family commitment so there is a few excuses there but today's video as you can see by the title is basically um, anybody that has the car that i still amazingly have and I think the one reason I haven't gotten rid of this car um, yet is because it's so good on fuel um, and it's just so cheap, super reliable, it hasn't let me down yet. I mean, currently with mixed driving, quite a lot of motorway stuff lately um, because I had to drive to Preston, um, which is about nearly five hours, four and a half, five hours from my house. I did a trip to there and back um, to go and get the dog uh, last weekend. So that was actually a good, sort of test to see how this car would be on fuel and even with a little bit of spirited driving for a diesel and you know sticking to 70 mile an hour most of the way um we were getting about 60 miles per gallon which is i think i think pretty good um considering it's only a 1600 diesel i think they're 95 brake out the factory it's not a lot but the exterior of the car since i have um had this car I think it's had one wash and it really is overdue a wash massively as you can probably see the windows and the inside of the car is filthy as well um, everywhere needs a clean but it will be getting done and I will be doing a video now because I'm off for another week so I'm gonna try and get in one or two car features if I can and I'm also gonna try and get in maybe a fishing video if any of you guys are interested I do have a fishing channel as well um, I will link that in the description below so you can check that out and also if you're new to the channel on this Which is obviously to do with cars. Please feel free to subscribe Click a thumbs up if you like the video, but basically like I say today is about this Zetec S 1.6 TDCI now if you're looking to own one of these cars There's a number of things that um, are great about them. I mean even as a first-time driver I think like you know if this is your first car. They're quite cheap to pick up they're relatively cheap to fix like probably one of the cheapest cars to fix you know if your budget's more than 500 quid to get a, a first car i would definitely say like go for something like this two or three grand get yourself a really decent spec one like with the premise all come with aircon anyway they're super comfortable um i must admit on a long journey uh it's not as comfortable it is just doing little short ones like sitting in a car for five hours i think in any car doing five hours you know as a long stint like unless you're spending big money like this is honestly not that comfortable for five hours but just poodling around town going to work and back and going where i need to go generally this thing is pretty good um like i say the fuel side of things you're looking at getting anywhere if you put in 50 quid which i don't normally do i normally put in about 20 quid and to 20 quid you can easily get 200 miles if you drive it carefully around town you will all day long get 200 miles out of 20 quid um, you'll, you'll hit as long as you're sitting at 30 miles an hour in fifth gear and not ragging it you will get um you know 60 to 70 miles to the gallon and that is a fact that's what i do daily um so that that is a given that is, you can guarantee that tax is 20 quid a year so that is brilliant considering that electric cars are zero and you can get something like this which if you haven't got 30 grand to spend on an electric car which i certainly haven't right now um something like this is the way to go because you're still getting really really good fuel economy i don't know exactly what it works out at per mile but i don't think we're going to go that deep on uh, this sort of video today it's just an overall sort of running costs um hope all of you guys have been well um I'm glad that a lot of you have stayed subscribed to the channel despite the fact that i haven't actually put any content out for absolutely ages but like i say i have had a lot going on um and just i've just really been really really busy so i do apologize but to be honest everyone else with everything that's been going on has probably had loads of themselves so watching my videos really probably is on like the last of your lists so yeah anybody that's tuned in today i really do appreciate it and thank you for watching today's video um today's video isn't sponsored um, but that doesn't make any difference to me whatsoever because I do this channel for fun. Um, like I say, so breaking down costs, my insurance costs, I've actually just changed. Now, I bank with the Halifax and they had a deal on where if I insure my car with them, they could do some sort of deal. So um, basically, I pay, I don't pay yearly, I always pay monthly, I always have done. It's not because I haven't got the money to pay yearly, but I just pay monthly because. 
I prefer to. Probably works out more money, I think it does, but if you've got the money to pay yearly, then pay. But um, yeah, I just prefer paying monthly. I don't know why. Oh, I've just done it since I was 17. So yeah, it's like 34 quid a month insurance. Monthly, the diesel for me, if you say on average, I do, I don't know, 10, 20, 25 miles a day, maybe, if I'm lucky. And I, if I was to fill it up, I have filled it up, and it will do me a month all day long on 50 quid. So I think that's pretty astonishing, considering you know, there are a lot of cars out there which will do what this does in a month over a week. And I think even my Fiesta, like, I'm pretty sure. But then again, it's totally different driving styles, it's a totally different car, so you can't compare these types of vehicles. But if you're wanting something economical, these are great. Like, this has aircon, it has Bluetooth, it can read out your text messages, it's pretty safe to drive. I'm not sure what the end cap rating is, but no one really worries about that anymore, so who cares? But since I've had it, I have had to replace, and it was fairly costly, but not too bad. It's probably about average, if not a little bit less. Um, I used the new garage called VSM Autos, which is down in Braiswick in Colchester. So if you want to go and check them guys out, check them out, because the service was actually really good, and it was a really quick turnaround. I dropped off my car one evening. Literally the next morning, it was ready to go and pick up, so I went and picked it up. But I had to get discs and pads done. Um, and I also had, I'm not sure whether it was a lower control arm or some sort of ball joint. I think it was something to do with my ball joint on the passenger side. I knew it was bad because it was knocking like you would not believe. Um, so that was done, yeah, and all in all, I think it was about 336 quid or something around about that ballpark, which for like discs both sides and obviously pads both sides, because that's what you have to do, there's no good replacing just one disc and one pad because it will just wear unevenly and it's just so stupid. So that's actually a tip for you guys. Anybody that is anybody that knows anything about cars will know that if you change discs, you do it all just together. Never do one side, always do the pair. Same with tyres, because otherwise you get an uneven wear. Some people do get down the route of like, I have actually done it on this car because they're so cheap that it's just like, I don't even care. Um, but generally, the best thing to do is change your tyres at exactly the same time, your brakes at exactly the same time, so it's all renewed at the same time. This also is due a cam belt now. I think it's either 100,000 miles or 10 years. This is only done 52,000 miles, so it's super low miles for a 2011 car. Um, and for a diesel, because normally people buy these diesels and they do epic miles. I don't, so the mileage was really good. For the price I paid for this car, I thought this is actually, I thought it had been clocked, I'm not even gonna lie for it. For the price I paid, I looked at the mileage when I went and picked it up and I was like, that's actually mad. Um, so the cam boat is gonna have to be done. Now I think that costs around three or 400 pounds. I don't think it's a big job. Um, it might be a little bit less, so don't quote me on that because I haven't had any figures yet. When I get that done, I probably will actually film it just to see what actually goes into changing the camber on one of these. I don't think it's like a too much of an involved process. I don't think it's too horrific because some cars, loads of stuff's in the way. Some cars even have two cambels, but this is, um, yeah, I think it's pretty simple. Like, I won't be doing it myself, but um, yeah, it's, apparently it's quite simple. Now, with, with regards to the modifications on this thing, like this is not a car that I will ever mod, I won't even map it, there's literally no point. Um, you know, stage one maps, I think you can return slightly more miles per gallon, but in real terms, like, it's really not worth it. If you can get 60 anyway, you might get 65 if you've got a stage one map. So, I really don't personally think it's worth it. Um, you know, like, most of my driving at the, mo at the moment is with the kids in the car, or with the dog in the back, or with all of them in the car, or just driving to work, like 90% of the time. So, for any of you guys that are watching the channel, I still will be doing um, modified car reviews and all that sort of stuff, because I do love them. But I think from my perspective, unless something changes, I think my next car probably will be electric. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna go for. Like, I still got loads of things to sort with my house, and loads of other things going on in life, so, Realistically, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, obviously I'd love a Tesla, but they're super expensive. Now, I've been looking at the Volkswagen ID3s. I really, really do like them, and one of my last videos, I think the one before this, which it will be, yeah, the, one, the video before this, which I'll leave a link to now, um, up top, which you can click on. Um, I actually went out and drove that, and it was really, really nice to drive. I think off of 80%, which is what they tell you to charge it to, you can get about 
160 or 180 miles, which for me would be perfect. I could charge it in the garage or whatever, um, and it's just perfect. But for now, I'm certainly going to be keeping this diesel because it's really low mileage. It doesn't need anything doing to it right now. Um, the cam belt can kind of wait. Um, I probably shouldn't wait, but um, because the mileage is so low, um, I am risking it. I know a lot of people do, but yeah, if it goes, it's going to be on me. So if you see a video with a horrific thumbnail, then it'll be that my cam belt's probably gone. Um, with a car, you know, the older they get, the more things that are likely to go wrong, but that is just cars, unfortunately. But yeah, other than that, I really am enjoying the car. Um, although it's slow, because I've been doing a lot of fishing and stuff as well, like, it, it just doesn't matter if it gets dirty and stuff inside. Like, with other cars that I've had in the past, I've had to worry if it gets dirty. I've had to keep it clean every single day and I just sort of started to panic about is it dirty like and I do genuinely worry what do people think when I'm driving past and I, I kind of I'm kind of glad that I've got past that stage in my life now where I don't have to worry too much about what people think of me and that is actually a tip for you guys at home honestly you need to just forget what people are thinking about and just live your life how you want to live it like I'm happy at the moment and I'm probably in one of the best mind spaces that I've been for a long time and I think the dog's dog has helped that a lot excuse me i think the dog has helped that a lot um and my wife are just being there for me all the time but i think one thing i want to say is just like try to surround yourself with positive people like i've got a couple of mates of mine rob and robbie a massive shout out to them like lately with fishing and stuff like they've been there for a lot for me and it's really really helped me out because without them too without going to tennis without going fishing and without just having these things that i do other than being involved in cars like it's just an escape from everything that's going on in your normal life and I know for a lot of people obviously just the cars is enough but for me it just isn't and at the moment obviously I can't exactly get like masses of enjoyment out of a 1.6 litre diesel car uh, but as I said as a daily car to drive about if you're looking for something as like a your first car or just a car that you want to be super economical then this is definitely one to go for if your budget isn't very high because you can pick these up super cheap like I'm pretty sure I've seen them below two grand but obviously the mileage is going to be quite a bit higher um, but yeah guys today has obviously been a bit of a waffle quite a lot of talking and not a lot of action but it's just to give you guys a bit of a catch up really and just have a chat with the camera with you guys in the car take out for a little spin and just say that I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video in absolutely ages and there will be more content inbound i've got an a45 that's green that's super sick that i'm trying to get on this week if we can get um, a date arranged and stuff the weather's not great today so obviously won't be today but at some point this week i will try and get that filmed um, because that's going to be a naughty little video even though i have done an a45 before this is just slightly different and i'm all about different cars as you guys know um, so anyway, without further ado, I am going to end the video today, guys. So if you if you um, are new to the channel, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video.